and let's look at the brand new stuff that Adobe announced at the Adobe Max conference. Every year they have one big release of stuff, mm -hmm. and that's what we're going to look at right now. Uh, let's start with... And we're only going to focus on photography apps here, because there's a, yeah, piece, a bunch of different stuff. Yeah, the Adobe uh, updated Illustrator and InDesign and Premiere, yeah, and yeah, we're yeah. not going to do that no, stuff. It's nah. just for photographers. Yes. All right. The big thing is assisted culling. Mm -hmm. This is a pain point for most every photographer. You went out and you shot, could be a vacation, a wedding, a portrait shoot, whatever. You, now you have 1,000 images, 500 images, 2,000 images, 4,000 images. How do you get through them? Well, what the idea here is, is they're going to help you basically ignore the photos mm -hmm. that are bad and just import the ones that are good or just now. This will work in two ways. Number one, as you import a shoot, or if you have images that are already on your computer, it'll do those as well. It doesn't really matter how they're, whether they're just coming in or whether they're there, you can use AI assisted culling. Now they just call it assisted culling, uh, but it's, it's, it is AI powered because the AI has to look for things and that's what we're gonna see. Where do you find this? It's in the library module right over here. It's at the very, very top. Now it says early access, that just means they haven't officially rolled it out and it will get better. However good it is now, it will get better because they're still working on it. It's not fully baked, right? Now I'm gonna close this side thing so we can see this better. Actually, I'll leave it open, doesn't matter. All right, here's assisted culling. So you go and you turn it on and absolutely nothing happens, right? So mm -hmm. the whole, the way this is designed is this, you click on the panel and nothing happens because you haven't told it what criteria is important to you. So we'll start with, and this is a big one, is my subject in focus? Now, it's not, it, it's looking at the subject, right? So it's using mm -hmm. like select subject kind of, it's not gonna select it, but it goes, okay, I know what the subject is. Is that subject in focus? When I turn the checkbox on, it immediately, it is super fast, immediately makes the first round of determination. So let's take a look. I'm gonna turn on subject focus, click it and watch. Woo, look at that, it's already, already done, look. There were 23 photos that were rejected mm -hmm. from my and Eric's workshop in Las, yep, Las yep. Vegas based on just that one single criteria. Just is it in focus. But here's a really cool thing. You get to decide how strict the AI is. And what, what, the, what it means is, how strict are you? Like, how strict are you? Does it yeah, have to be, be really super sharp? Super duper sharp. Or you're like, if it's a little, if it's a little fuzzy, I'm okay. If it's a little sauce, I can deal with it. But so here's how that works. When you click this, there is a setting. Now it starts at 50 right in the middle. So it's gonna get you, you know, they're sharp. Mm -hmm. They're not deadly sharp and they're not too soft. If you drag to the right, it's gonna, you, it, you're saying only flag images yeah, that are really sharp, sharp and everything else gets flagged as a reject. So it either, either flags is with do, using two words, rejects, you know what that is, and selects. Selects are, these are okay. All right, let's go down here. I want you to see this number right here. I have 243 selects, so it says those are okay. They're in mm -hmm. focus. These, there's 23 photos that are out of focus. And we were doing panning and that stuff. It's saying that are 50% or less. Like basically they're saying they're worse than 50%. Right. So watch what happens to this number when I, and it happens live. Watch what happens to this number when I increase this. I'll go up to here. 35. Whoops, now I have 35. So there were some that weren't, yeah, weren't that like, sharp. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, 47. 47. All right, so right now I've got 219 selects and 47 rejects, and I have my sharpness set to be like, I wanna be picky about sharpness. The next one is eye focus. You know, with portraits, the, more, the most important thing is that your eyes are in focus. Uh, yeah, I only have 507 images in here, so it's just a subset of yeah, the images. Yeah, it's a subset. Because we saw, shot thousands. Um, but let's go to eye focus. And what did that add? It didn't add anything. So I didn't really maybe have any portraits in here at all. But I want to show you that it has the same slider for eye focus. Mm -hmm. And look at this. 
This is really good. Reject photos without people's eyes. So if someone's looking down. Yeah, just take it out. It just takes it out, right? Someone's looking away. You don't see their eyes. They put your hand up over their eyes. They're scratching their head. They don't see the eyes. It's out. But that's your choice. You don't have to choose that. And the last one is eyes open. Let's go ahead and choose eyes open. And then reject all. I really can't tell. <laughs> That's my favorite one. Yeah, the can't tell. I don't know. I can't really tell. Now, let's keep going down further in this box. Misfires. I think this is terrific. Misfires. That's the one that I love. You yeah, know? because, you know. I got those that just, like, I didn't mean to take that shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, misfires, forget that. Um, so, I have a shot of my foot. I, I shot something that's, you know, clearly not, like, a good photo. Um, documents and receipts, I would think, is for people who their main uh, camera is an iPhone. And people do take a lot of pictures of, you know, your passport and, you know, uh, for work, you're taking pictures for receipts and stuff. So you can reject those automatically. And the last one is exposure issues. But I will say this, they have to be very overexposed or underexposed. They're not just a little dark, like not a stop dark or a stop and a half dark. We're talking three stops overexposed, four stops overexposed, something like that. Now, once you've done this, you can say, just show me my rejects. There they are. So uh, outside of that, you can um, select them all and hit delete if you don't want them in your collection or you don't want them on your computer. Uh, and now, this same thing also works in import. We'll talk about that in just a minute. However, let's look at the portrait shoot. All right, here we go. So here's the portrait shoot. Let's go and try the stuff. Now, let's turn these all off and then see what we get. So subject focus, only four rejects. You know why? Because I was using flash. <laughs> if you use yeah. flash, it's hard to take an out of focus, right? Yeah. So there's only four, and my sharpness is up pretty high. Yeah, that's pretty, All right, that's good. are the eyes sharp? Ooh, it still stayed at. But let's raise it up. No, no, no. They got to be really sharp. Seventeen. Mm. Still, that's really good. And then eyes open. I bet all our eyes are open, but let's see. We're seventeen, nineteen. Mm -hmm. There were two photos where her eyes were closed and they just said, nope, not today. So that's really pretty good. Here are the photos that were rejected. I will tell you this. I recommend that you look at the rejected photos. I recommend that you absolutely look at it and make sure that, uh, that, that you agree with the AI that, you know, yeah, just show me this, the rejects and you know, we'll take a look at them. Oh, I want to tell you something that might catch you. What happens if you go here and you're clicking these things and it doesn't mm -hmm. work? Like you're doing it and you're not seeing anything yeah, yeah. happen. It's very possible that your, your culling is not turned on. Where would Adobe put the button to, to pause assisted culling? Just hide it somewhere really deep where we can't find it. Under your nameplate. <laughs> right here. So we can pause it or we can turn it on. Now it's analyzing all of the photos so we can do this quicker. So in the background, it's analyzing them, but anyway. Yep. It works very well. And look how it worked in Vegas. Yeah. It found a lot of photos that were, were the subject. Yeah. Now the subject could, could have been a car, it could have been a sign, it could yeah. have been a person, it could have been a whatever, but it still worked and that's the cool thing. I think that that's what's cool about it is it's just, this is the first iteration right. and it's working really fast and good. Yeah, let's go mm -hmm. look at the rejects. What if you go, I looking at the rejects. You're like, I like that reject. What do you do if it accidentally chooses it wrong? All you have to do is right click on the little red X. You right click and say, no, mark it as a select. You guys can see that? Yep. Mark it as a select. And that way it will jump off from here and be loaded to the, the select. So it will no longer have a red X. It will have a green check mark and everything will be good.